welcome back to the channel. It's Lauren. I'm currently in my other bathroom right now and I'm starting the day off. Today's video is all about getting my other bathroom done. We've had some plumbing issues. It's a completely clean slate. We had to move everything out. It's been cleaned down. All the problems with the plumbing have been fixed and so now I need to move everything in there and I thought it would take you long for the day. This is again my other bathroom which is kind of it's cute. I really I really like this one, but there's just stuff everywhere. Like this is all stuff from the other bathroom. I have my little <laughs> eye drops here, but there's stuff everywhere all over my house. So that's going to be the main focus, but I have been starting my days off with walks. So that's what I'm going to do first. I really just enjoy getting out in the sun before I really start anything. So I'm going to go take a little walk and I'll take you guys with me throughout my day while I create my bathroom sanctuary. So let's go. All right, I just got back from my walk and I just wanted to shout out really fast my shoes. These are amazing. They're from the brand, I think it's called Hoka. I more recently bought them and I've been suffering with plantar fasciitis for a while now and I've been trying to be good, like wear shoes in the house and all of that, but these walking shoes have been a game changer. I think I have the like seven ones, but they have like a new one, I think the eight. Anyway, they are so gushy. They are like perfect for walking and they feel great. So um, if you suffer, I just thought I would shut them out. They're very expensive, but even in the little bit of time I've had them, they've been really great. And I've already noticed that when I wake up in the morning and that first step out of bed, I don't have that like pain in my heel. So just thought I would shout that out. They also have wide widths, which is great. And they have lots of fun, cute colors. They're really nice. So I'm gonna get some coffee going and then I'm gonna get started on this room. All right, so I'm in my room. This is where I film and also where the bathroom is. So it's completely clear. I'm gonna show you the before what we're dealing with. I thought it'd be kind of like a fun transformative type of thing to be able to see it go from like zero to a hundred. So yeah, let me show you the bathroom. So this is me going in the door and then inside. It's completely cleaned out. Hello, you guys. It's by no means like a new bathroom. So when I call this like my sanctuary, <laughs> I'm not saying that because of how nice it is in that way. And I kind of want to normalize like not everyone has like those really nice bathrooms. Sorry, I'm not there. So anyway, um, this is what it looks like. I have some shelving down here. And then it's a really weird setup with the shower. So the tub is actually quite small. It's like short and tiny. And then it has this really weird wraparound situation. You can literally see yourself in here when you're showering. You can see yourself naked. It's so fucking weird. And then on this side, there's obviously the toilet. And so yeah, this is kind of what we're working with. Completely empty. It's all cleaned out. I've like cleaned from the obviously plumbing stuff, but also took an opportunity to just get it as fresh as this kind of old bathroom can get. So yeah, I'm gonna show you now what we're kind of putting in here, what I need to work on. I might do my makeup also before I start completely getting to work because I kind of just want to have my face done. But um, yeah, let me show you everything that needs to fit in here. So I have all my clean uh, linens essentially. So the shower curtain, this is just for the hand towels and then that's the rug. They've been washed and although it's on the floor, it's ready to go. I'm just waiting on some hooks and the plastic. We're replacing the plastic uh, sheet lining. So that's coming in later today and then I can put that up. This shelving unit here goes inside the bathroom. I've actually had this for a while. 
it used to be my pantry actually in like an old old apartment and i almost got rid of it but i found a way to fit it into the bathroom so of course i mean i don't get rid of anything so yeah if i could find a way to fit it in i do and i'm actually really happy because this is kind of where i put all my product i have a lot of bathroom product <laughs> i've been getting into body scrubs and just kind of my shower routine and kind of romanticizing that and making it a fun experience so that shelf has actually been really useful to store all that stuff but also it kind of keeps it a studio vibe because this is the room that I like film in and all of that and so it keeps that going as well so as for the stuff that needs to get put into the bathroom this is most like the bulk of the stuff lots of stuff here I feel like it looks like a lot but I actually have it pretty organized like I just organized this before the plumbing stuff happened so uh, it fits pretty nicely but I'm gonna put this stuff in the bathroom I also have some stuff here this is all the stuff that was like in our shower so that's what was there I have a candle going don't mind that I'm gonna put my makeup drawers back in there, which I'm probably gonna do my makeup real soon I have this which is all my skincare that I was using kind of out and hair care stuff And then back there if you can see it that is uh, like a masking station I set up so I definitely want to re-implement that and I think that's the bulk of it So I'm gonna get started I think I'm gonna do my makeup first and then we're just gonna get into getting this bathroom put back together my house put back together mm, It's gonna be great Alright, let me turn off my Anastasia soundtrack. This is the final look. I just wanted to try out this ColourPop Super Shock and it's pretty. It's really simple but has some sparkle so I like that. Um, but I feel great. I love getting a face of makeup on. It really does help me like tackle the day. So now to like start in the bathroom. It's kind of like where do I start? What do I do? Um, but I think I'm gonna get the big pieces in first. I think that will be the most helpful hopefully that's what i think i'm gonna start with so i'm currently realizing how difficult it's gonna be to film in here so i'm just gonna do my best of showing you what i'm getting rid of what i'm doing that type of thing i don't even know it's like tough to even get good lighting or a good angle so i'm just gonna do my best and hope it comes together I thought I would share with you my kind of skincare, hair care shelf. This is like active products I'm using that are more everyday. This shelf here, this is the real standout. I've been using these for years. They're just from Ikea. They're supposed to hold like picture frames, but they're so perfect for skincare, hair care. I store my perfumes on these as well. I love them. And sometimes I'll even have a double shelf. Like in past bathrooms, I've had that. And in my other bathroom, I also have one of these. It's just so great to get your products off of the counter. Easy to reach. And because it's not too uh, deep of a shelf, you really can see everything as well. So I have my little, what is this? A shelf selfie of skincare hair care stuff all done ready to go next i'm going to move on to the shelf because i know that that's so huge like that's such a big part of all the products so i'm going to do that 
Oh my gosh, I think I found a decent angle. The audio still sucks, I'm so sorry. I'm gonna try not to talk too much, but let it be known, anyone who vlogs uh, a bathroom and it looks good either, just has like a dope ass bathroom. Slash, they took a lot of time, probably both, honestly, even if it's really nice. So, looking effortless is not effortless. so good it fits like perfectly in between this crack of where the shower is and where the toilet is when i first put it in here i thought oh it's too big like it it makes it crowded but it actually looks really really nice so now to fill it All right, so I've gotten a lot of the stuff put away in the bathroom. I thought I would film out here because I'm telling you the lighting, the sound, everything in that bathroom is not exactly prime. But the stuff that I wanna put inside the drawers I still haven't done, and that's really the place I feel like I can declutter. Everything else I feel like I've more intentionally brought into that bathroom. So everything on the shelves, everything kind of in my makeup drawers, in the mask kind of self-care, skincare section, even on that little shelf in there as well, on the wall, all those things are meant to be in there and I've already kind of gone through them but the rest of this stuff is where I maybe have some place to declutter so I thought I would do that and kind of go through it I don't like storing a lot of stuff under the drawers in there because they're just kind of old first off and I feel like things just get lost if I don't see them it just you know it gets hidden away never to be seen again and so I like having very specific reasons and what's going under there and why and I don't like to overcrowd it I don't want it to not be accessible just like easily pulling things out. I did that before and I crammed like two bins in where like one had to be pushed to the side to get one out and I just found it really cumbersome and, and not good. So anyway, we're gonna get personal, go through this like personal care stuff and hopefully declutter some. I don't know how much I will, but whatever seems needs to go, um, I'm gonna do that. So let's get into this stuff. All right, I'm gonna start off with this bin here. This has a few, it's like a bath bomb from Lush. I'm gonna smell it. Oh, it still smells good. I'm going on a friendcation very soon, so I think I might bring this and hopefully the tub there will be good. I personally don't have a tub here that works for my body. Uh, the one in there, like I said, is very small, <laughs> so it doesn't really work for soaking, but I'm gonna keep this one around. I also have this, it looks so beat up, but this is, uh, I think it's a CBD bath bomb. I really wish I could try these, but I don't know if I'm gonna be able to, so I might <laughs> pass these on to someone who doesn't mind some outer packaging that doesn't look very good, but nothing's wrong with the inside. Okay, and then we have tools. I don't do a ton to my hair, but I feel like I'm in a transition mode a bit. I like my hair up in a clip and kind of in a low bun, but I wanna keep some things that I know work for me. So I'm definitely keeping my blow dryer. I use this, Sam uses this. I actually use this a lot less than I used to. I just don't really heat dry my hair very much anymore, which is great. Like it's so much easier, but I definitely wanna obviously keep it around for when I do want that. I have this mini hair straightener in here. I think this is the one I'm gonna keep. I also have the big size um, and I think 
This is the one I don't really need. So I think I'm going to pass this on to someone. Um, I think it's like a Chi Chi or something. So I think it's a pretty good brand, at least, I think. So hopefully someone can get some good use out of that. And then I'll just have the little straightener because this is so tiny. I can travel with it, but I also like that it's tiny for when I'm doing my hair just at home. Again, I don't use a ton of heat tools anyway, uh, but sometimes I like having my ends straight. This is like a mini blow dryer. And I think I am actually going to keep this around because sometimes when you're traveling, you might be going somewhere where they don't have a blow dryer and sometimes it is nice to have a mini one since I just already do so I'm gonna keep that around this is just like a glove this is where it gets hard I have a lot of different these are like attachments which I don't normally use but there's a part of me that's like well what if I see someone do a cool hairstyle and then I like want to replicate it I feel like I'm gonna want these so <laughs> I hold on to them I know um, then I have these like really big curlers so I have this one I feel like I don't need this one it's just so big for my hair my hair doesn't hold a curl at all but also I never curl it and if I do I usually go with a wand I find it just curls it better so I think this might be one I can get rid of as well it's just like a hot tools one I think a lot of these different size hair curlers were in my kit at one point I just like to have like a bunch of different options for different people so I think I'm gonna get rid of that this is another wand I think this is another one I'm gonna get rid of just because I tend to use this one sometimes I don't love that this is tapered but I don't know. This is the hard part, right? Because I'm like, well, what if, what if? Maybe I'll keep this wand as well because it's a little bit bigger. It's more like the end of this and I already have it. It's like, you know, this is kind of my tool section. So maybe I'll keep that. Then I have this like micro one and part of me is like, oh my gosh, what a waste. But then part of me is like, I don't know. I saw someone do their hair and it looked really cool. So I kind of want to keep that. The one I might get rid of is this mini one. I like the mini straightener, but I don't know if the mini uh, wand is as useful for me. I usually just reach for this one. So I think this is one I can get rid of. All right, not bad. I probably should clean out this drawer, but I'll do that later. Um, so I got rid of a couple of things. I think it'll fit a little nicer in here. And then I'm gonna keep the attachments and stuff even though I never really use this. I like never use this Actually, I'll get rid of it. I'm getting rid of some wands. Okay, there we go fits nice in here Next is this little blue container like I have so many little containers I've had throughout the years So I don't know where they're from. I kind of wish I just had nice acrylic that all looked the same But I don't this is a foot mask. I think I have two foot masks I do want to do these at some point So I'm gonna keep them around and then I have I think just like it's like a hand cream foot thing that's like what this bin is so I have a cuticle oil I never really use it but again I kind of keep it around and then this Tokyo milk hand cream so I think I am gonna keep these I really wish this fit in this um, but maybe I'll put this on my shelf there's a little bit of space on there anyway and I can keep like hand creams and stuff on there it's not the prettiest but that might be an option I'm gonna keep that stuff this next bucket is like razors and shaving stuff if you saw when I was putting away my stuff in the shower I have this really nice rose gold leaf razor that I bought during Black Friday last last year and I keep this case around because it's my favorite to travel with even though I technically did get the travel case this just I don't really like the way the metal feels I feel like I'm gonna cut myself so I don't love it but I have all my accessories to the leaf and it's a pretty expensive razor but I liked that it was metal I liked that you just change out the razors this is like the disposable razors like once you use them you put them in here so I like this system especially for like shaving my legs and stuff like that and I was hoping to like get rid of the need for plastic razors that's what I was really going for but I'm pretty sure that I have PCOS I'm in the process of getting diagnosed and just kind of looking into that but I have a lot of the symptoms so that means that I have facial hair that I have to get rid of and I have just learned that this razor doesn't really work for that so you know unfortunately for me the best way that I found are just men's razors so I have a Costco pack of those and then these were just some leftover ones I haven't gone through yet so I won't probably repurchase these but at least for now I'm not gonna have facial hair on me if I can help it I personally don't want it so yeah that's what this is it's just all razors in here and that works pretty well for me this next bucket is kind of specific as well this is more my brush cleaning section so this I used to use for brush cleaner I don't think I need this anymore again this was in my kit for a while and then I kind of transferred in into my personal use but I don't really use it out of this bottle I'll just take it from the original bottle that it comes in the cinema secrets so I'm gonna get rid of that this little tins from Odin's eye it actually had 
have like one of those brush donuts in it to like fast clean your brushes but I just keep my little samples of Beauty Blender cleanser the solid in here and I'll just use it and run my brush in it I also have some regular solid ones so I have the lavender solid the regular solid so I keep those around and then this little dish sometimes I'll put the liquid soap in and use it that way so I feel like this is pretty contained and then this is my Sigma mat it's a really big one and I also use that when I'm really like getting in there and cleaning my brushes. So all that makes sense. The container doesn't necessarily hold it well, but um, I do kind of like that all that's all together. Next is this one. I have some backup deodorants. I, I got like a Costco pack and then this is Sam. So I just keep those in, this is under my sink usually. This is the big one. I have my Cinema Secrets and I have my Beauty Blender Cleanser. I like to keep these standing upright. So I kind of hate that they're not together. Maybe I can find a way to condense this to fit in here so that all of it can be together because that would be really nice but I don't like putting these on their side because they might leak and I don't want to waste product and be messy so tampons you know and then this is a purple shampoo I don't really use this much but sometimes I do this probably could go in a different section though so I might do that just a cleaning product this is like old hair dye like I custom mixed a dye so I think I'm gonna just clean that out it's pretty uh you know, not much in there, so that can go. This is all stuff that my mom does my hair with, so it's like bleach and scissors and just different things. These are for your like shower drains so that your hair doesn't go down them, but um, I actually don't really have an issue with that, at least in this place. And then some plantar fasciitis stuff, which I'm actually doing really well with. I don't have any issues right now with it, but I am gonna keep this. I'll probably put this more in our medical supplies though. Man, who knew this video would have so much plantar fasciitis content, the content you've always wanted. So this is pretty good actually. And like I said, maybe I'll find a way to get this to go in here. I think this is too big. Okay, kind of weird to put a box inside a box and then I'll put that box inside another box and then I'll smash it with a hammer. But that's what I'm doing here. <laughs> that is entirely what's happening. All right, that's kind of nice. Then I'll move this. I guess that's kind of the situation. I'll have to find a new place for these. This is like a buzzer set, so I keep that. Last couple of things, these are more like hair products, that type of stuff. I'm gonna keep this little basket. This is like hair ties and bobby pins. It's like a million of them, but it feels like a never ending supply, but always when you need them and you think you have a million, you can't find one. So I just keep everything I have. In here, I have a couple different things. This is like a razor that I also use on my face sometimes when I'm like not in the shower. Shower. Um, this has worked pretty nicely just to kind of make sure my whiskers aren't showing. I'm gonna keep that. This I never use. It's more for like your eyebrows, but I, I never use it. So I think this I'm gonna get rid of. I love these. They're uh, basically like a little flyaway catcher. It looks like a mascara, but it gets your flyaways and I love them. So I'm keeping those. I have this dry brush that you're supposed to use on your face to help with circulation. I've tried it a few times and you know, I'm gonna keep it. I have a few tools in here. Oh, this can go in my razor section, but I have a few different face tools in here. Um, that sometimes I use it's not consistent, but I feel like in the mode I'm in I could see myself wanting to reach for it So I don't think I need to get rid of it This is one of those like cooling ones and it has like the bumps on the side and then not so I keep that around And then this one's supposed to like massage you. This is the one I'm like, I'm not convinced y'all It doesn't even work. I think this I'm gonna get rid of like I don't this, this is fine, you know? All right, clean that out a little bit. Now here are, oh look, I have a bunch of hair ties, so those can go in there. These are like mini hair ties. I never use these. These are also in my kit, but I don't wanna get rid of them in case I want to use something like this. I just never do those hairstyles, but I always keep them around, kind of the most nasty container, but that's what I have. I have a few of these thin headbands. These are mostly used for like skincare to get my hair out of my face. So I'm going to keep those around. I have a few different hair scrunchies. I really love this one and this one. These are both silk, which they just feel nice. Um, I like the patterns of them. So I'm going to keep both of those. Whereas the other ones, I'm not really a fan of. Like this has little eyes on it, but it's more like a tie. It, it's just, they're fine, but um, I'm not gonna keep them. This one's so cute, it's nice and big, but I don't know if it actually like looks good. Maybe I'll keep this one and try to style it because I kind of like how big it is. But the other two I am going to get rid of. I have some eye drops. They're supposed to make your eyes more white. So let me see when they expire. They just expired, so those have to go, that sucks. Other eye drops, these are the ones I use all the time. I have very dry eyes, so I have to use them. And then I have these little barrettes. I'm gonna keep these. 
It's just a cute little barrette pack. Not a big deal. Lots of hair and gross stuff in here, so I'll clean that out. Q-tips I'm keeping. Um, this I'm not gonna keep. This was from like Half Magic Beauty, and I'm not gonna use that. All right, I have some face wipes. I'm gonna keep those. And here are my brushes. Dude, just please don't mind how disgusting this looks. Uh, this is my oldest, grossest hairbrush, but I like it and I'm not gonna get rid of it. I don't care. It's not the same as the circle oval wet brushes, okay? It's not. So I'm keeping those. I'm gonna keep my big round brush. I'm keeping this. I'm gonna clean these. My mom would be just horrified, honestly. I'm gonna keep one of these. I'm gonna keep the black one and get rid of this one because it's just so ugly. And then I have my ring in here for some reason, my wedding ring, and then and a little hyaluronic acid eye cream, which I'll keep, but it goes in my other bathroom. All right, I probably could have done better, but you know, I don't have a ton of brushes. I don't think that's bad. I'm gonna put this stuff away and then I think we're on to like the final steps. It's basically all done. Um, I might add some more makeup into my drawers because I really only had like the face and makeup I did today and kind of what I've been using the last couple days in there. So I might add some more of that, but I can't wait to show you the reveal. I think that's next. I'm gonna put up the shower curtain once that gets here, it's not here yet. And I'll show you guys the reveal, the finished product of all this hard work and we'll do a little bathroom tour. All right guys, it's the next day. Everything is done. I put the shower curtain up, all that. So I can't wait to show you the bathroom. Yeah, let's just get into it. So this is me going into the bathroom and look, okay. Hi guys, all right, so we have this section here. This is all my makeup and the little masking station. As for the shower curtain, this is just from Urban Outfitters. I got it a while ago. I think it's 100% cotton, that's why I liked it. It's just nice and lightweight. And then we got these for our hooks. So there's two separate hooks, one for the curtain, one for the lining, which is so nice and easy to change if you need to change it out. I don't know if you really wanna see the inside of my bathroom, but there it is. I also have some stuff on this little ledge. Closing the door, this is my little like sanctuary storage center on top, all my body scrubs. I'm obsessed, okay? And I can't wait to get my video up. I have some plans to do some in-depth uh, reviews of body scrubs, okay? Then in here, I have a lot of like hair care products, a lot of Batiste and just different things. This is more like body lotions. I keep my little clips on the side here. Down here, you can see my obsession with hand soap. And then in this bottom one, I keep this for my reusable cotton rounds whenever I need to wash them, I just put them in here and then put that in the washer and then this is body wash. So yeah, that's kind of the tour of the bathroom. I guess I can show you the drawers and stuff because I went through those yesterday as well and put them away. It's very simplistic, really easy to grab stuff. I really didn't want to like hide things under the cabinets. I feel like that's such an issue. So let me show you that before we wrap it up. In this drawer, I just have Q-tips, some hair stuff, and the wipes in the back. In this drawer, hair stuff mostly, as well as some tools, but a lot of my like hair tools are in here. In this one, we have the like blow dryer stuff, and then down here are like the shaving, and then that's it. Technically, this goes like all the way back. It's, you know, I'm not, <laughs> I'm never gonna do that. Down here, that's what that looks like. Again, very like open still. And then last, some tampons and just some hand cream foot stuff. So that's it. I'm super happy with how everything turned out. I'm so excited to have my like bathroom back. I feel like the rest of my house is coming together, which is so nice. And I hope that you enjoyed the video. And I hope that no matter what your bathroom looks like, that you can maybe find a way to make it nice and to feel good in it and to like, you know, be able to tackle your day, whatever you do. So anyway, I'm going to leave it here. Thank you guys so much for watching. I hope you have an amazing day and I'll see you in the next one. Bye guys.